Welcome back. The second annual Vermont Ferry Festival takes place in Greensboro this weekend. And here to tell us more about that is Keisha Luce, Executive Director of Highland Arts. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having us. We're excited to talk about our second annual festival. For sure. So tell us a little bit about this unique event. What kinds of activities are involved? Oh, there's so much this year. Um, it really grew out of just sort of the COVID pandemic. We wanted to do something fun and magical and whimsical. And we had so much fun last year. We decided to really expand the event and we have some great performers joining us. We'll have No Strings Marionette Company. Um, we'll also have flying lessons with the New England Center for the Circus Arts. And we'll have many guest appearances. We have Pearl, our unicorn, coming with our fairy queen. Um, there's a beautiful fairy tree trail to walk. We'll be making potions, wands, fairy crowns. You can try your hand at archery, building your own fairy house. And we have a crystal forest where you can go inside live hobbit houses and also do a scavenger hunt. Wow, that's a lot. So is this geared towards just kids or is this really an all ages event? Oh, it's an all ages event. Yeah, we encourage everyone to come. There's a little bit of, you know, everything for everyone. Um, and it's it's really a day long event with food and act activities and, and just like merriment. This is your second year doing the event. Will this year's event be different than last year's? Like, did you learn things from last year that you incorporated into this year? Did you expand things like that? Oh, we certainly did. Um, last year, you know, it was sort of a, a more of a quiet event. Um, we weren't sure how many people were going to come or, you know, what they would be interested in. And we had almost 500 people last year and we decided, oh, this is just such a whimsical fun event. It is something that we really is much needed right now um, coming out of the pandemic. And then, of course, all the flooding and devastation that we've seen in Vermont, we really decided we needed a weekend where we could just celebrate and have fun. So we've really expanded the event um, to take over not only our property, but next door we have Wilson Herb Farm. So part of the event will take place there. We've created a beautiful magical forest um, for kids to run and play and, you know, crawl into Hobbit houses. What do you hope this festival brings to the community? Um, just sort of, I think, a bit of relief in what's been a really difficult summer for a lot of us. Um, just a chance to let your imagination run wild and just run free and play and sort of exist in that magical world that we've created. And what are the details that people know need to know if they want to attend? The where, the when, you know, is there admission costs, things like that? Yeah, so it's this Saturday, August 5th from 1 to 4, um, 4 p.m. at the Highland Center for the Arts in Greensboro. Um, we have different ticket structures um, ranging from $12 to up to a car load um, would be 40. And we also have EBT tickets available for $5. So we want to make it really accessible. We encourage people to carpool. Um, to help not only the environment, but to keep our traffic down. And the incentive is the more you have in your car, the cheaper it gets for the ticket price. And we will have information on our website with this story. Thank you so much for joining us. Have fun this weekend. Thanks so much.